Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website passmyinterview.com and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to pass a scholarship interview. So if you have a scholarship interview coming up, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to succeed and to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of scholarship interview questions that I strongly advise you prepare for. I'm going to give you brilliant, unique answers to tough scholarship interview questions. I will give you some really important tips on how you can stand out during your scholarship interview. And I will also tell you about further resources you can get access to, including these slides to help you succeed. And just very quickly, do make sure you subscribe to this channel. I am uploading insider training videos every day of the week that help you to pass your interviews and I don't want you to miss out. I will help you throughout your future career. Make sure you connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and also give the video a like. That motivates me to create more for you. Thank you very much. Let's get started. The first question will be, tell me about yourself. Now, when describing yourself during this first scholarship interview question, concentrate on what you are like as a person, your future ambitions and what you do in your spare time. Here's a great answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. I am a very positive and happy person who has the mindset that you only get out of life what you are prepared to put in. Now, although I am young, I have big ambitions for my future and I know the only way I will achieve those is if I work hard, I persevere and I am prepared to listen and learn. Now, outside of my studies, I keep myself fit and active and I enjoy spending time with my family. I also enjoy reading both fiction and non-fiction books and I usually dedicate some time to my own personal development. I understand lots of students apply for scholarships and I would hope my future ambitions and my promise that I will be totally committed to my studies make me a strong applicant. That is a brilliant answer. And it sets you up with confidence for the rest of your scholarship interview. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 20 scholarship interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones covered in this tutorial. Here's the next question. Why do you deserve this scholarship? Now, the most effective way to answer this second scholarship interview question is to align your future career ambitions with your studies. Now, if you are going to make good use of the scholarship, you are far more likely to be successful. Here's my example answer. Why do you deserve this scholarship? I believe I deserve this scholarship because I have genuine, achievable plans for my career. And I also understand I will only achieve those if I apply myself throughout my studies. Now, I've been reading the book, The One Thing, and it has taught me the importance of applying yourself and being consistent in the work you do and making sure you do it to the right standard. If I am fortunate enough to get this scholarship, I will be 100% committed to my studies and I will repay the trust you will have shown in me by being a model student, by supporting others and by ensuring I achieve my goals. That is a brilliant answer. It's another positive and confident response to that common scholarship interview question. Why do you deserve this scholarship? Now, you will notice there in the middle of that answer, I say I've been reading the book, The One Thing. I have put a link to that book on Amazon in the description below the video. Check it out. It's a really, really good book. What I like about that response is you are saying I've read a book and it is teaching me the importance of applying myself and being consistent in the work that I do. And that's what that book will teach you. So even if you just mention the book in your answer, that will be a good thing. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 20 scholarship interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones covered in this video. But here's the next question and answer for you. Why have you chosen this school or this college? 
Now, if you can demonstrate there has been a logical thought process behind you choosing their school or college to study, it shows you are serious about being successful because there you have a plan in place. And that's really important. If you're going to be successful, you have to have a plan. So here's a short positive answer to this question to assist you. Why have you chosen this school? I have chosen this school because from what I have heard and read during my research, the environment is conducive to productive study. The teachers and the lecturers are all highly regarded and experienced in their subject area and you clearly support your students so they can achieve their goals. Now, although I am going to be a good student and I will work hard to achieve my academic goals, this won't be possible unless I have a positive environment in which to learn and study. And this is the only school I want to be at. That's another really good answer. The next question. What are your strengths and weaknesses? This is guaranteed to come up during your scholarship interview. Now talk about the different strengths you have that will help you to achieve your academic and future career goals in your answer to this common scholarship interview question. Then give just one weakness that you can improve upon during your studies. Here's a great answer to help you. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include my ability to apply myself to a given task. This means I will always achieve my goals. I am also a good planner and organiser and I know what I need to do to get where I want to be. Other strengths include the fact I am supportive of other people and I am a positive and enthusiastic person and I would like to think I am good to be around. I think my weakness is I currently don't feel very confident speaking in front of other people. This is something I want to overcome because it will be important in my future career. If ever there is the opportunity to give a presentation during my studies, then I would very much like to give it a try and see if I can improve. That's a very clever answer because you are talking about lots of different strengths you have at the beginning you, and then you are just giving one weakness that will do you no harm and you are saying you are open to improving on that weakness. Here's the next scholarship interview question. What are your career goals? Now, you are far more likely to win the scholarship if your career goals are closely aligned to your studies. Here's another great answer to help you. Now, you will need to change the name of the company and the job role I mention in the following answer to your own. So in this response, I say, I want to be a software engineer with Amazon. All you need to do is change the role and the company that you want to work for. Here's my example answer. What are your career goals? My career goals are aligned to my studies and I plan to work for Amazon in the role of software engineer. This is a career I've wanted to do for a long period of time, ever since I first became interested in the profession after learning about it during a school careers open day. Amazon are a great company who excel because of their passion for creating great products and services for their customers and I see my long-term future with the company. Now, of course, my career goals will not be realised if I don't work hard and achieve the qualifications that I need. Now, this scholarship is directly linked to my future career ambitions and if I am successful, it will be certainly put to good use. That's a really good answer. And like I say, all you need to do for your response is change the company name and the job role. So the next thing to do, make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Head over to my website, passmyinterview.com and take a look at the full list of 20 scholarship interview questions that I recommend you prepare for. And you also have the opportunity to download all of the answers in a PDF guide so you can have them within your inbox within two minutes from now. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe because I will help you throughout your career. Also connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you very much. And please do give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And I wish you all the best for passing your scholarship interview. Have a brilliant day.